Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, where today I'm going to do part 9 to my let's play of Simulacra 2 that is on my iPad. Well, in the last video guys, we continued making little bits of progress in this game, trying to figure out what happened to Maya, I've already forgot her fucking name, but the person that that was on her home screen. I recovered an email from one of the clue things we had, and so I'm gonna go ahead and see what it says. Dear Ara Park, your application to become an Aluren Muse has been received. Unfortunately, due to the sheer volume of applications, our review process will take longer than expected. In the meantime, you can follow up on your application through our hotline listed on our website. My extension is 8714. I look forward to he hearing from you. Re regards. Yep. Okay. From I apart to, yep. As if. Maya, I'm beyond annoyed. Such an inconvenience. Look at this. Can you believe this bull? Due to the sheer volume of applications, blah, blah, blah. How hard do I have to try? Ah! Like, why can't I just get it? I'm clearly perfect for this. If only I had a friend who could help me out. A friend with connections at Aluren. A friend who slays at fitness and cu curating diet plans. A friend I do respect and appreciate. Friend I'm forwarding this email to, but seriously, if you know anyone on the inside, please, please let me know, okay? Maya. Oh, email address, email address. This? Hey! Rex is new recruit. A new recruit of Rex is an employee at Maya's gym and planning to quit their job to pursue Rex's program full time. Oh dear. Maya Crane, 40 message. Maya, thank you. Then, thank you, thank you. Rex is much more than you described. Wait. Dang it. Rex is much more than you described. He's exactly who I needed to help me decide what to do with my life. I know I said that fitness was my passion, but I was lying. Rex sensed that right away, and we talked about my old doubts. What a guy. Even offered a solution when he asked me to join his business, too. I can't thank you enough for introducing us. He's an absolute legend. I owe you everything that's gonna happen. P.S. I know you never attended my classes, but my Zumba teaching days are numbered. I'm quitting my job at the gym to make my dreams come true. Exploited for cash. Maya expresses concern that Rex would exploit someone who was heavily in debt. Uh. Rex, what the heck? This wasn't the plan. You're getting him to quit being a trainer. He needs that job. What happened to getting people who deserve it? I told you he's in debt. He can't give you anything. I only introduced you because you said you need a payment. A personal trainer. You know, someone you pay. Oh dear. A great opportunity. My oh my. Someone suddenly grown a conscience. Touching. He can make his own decisions. It's not my fault he's such a puppy dog. I didn't force him to quit. Just a few choice words on how working for me could be good for him. That's all. Don't worry your pretty little head about anything. P plus, his enthusiasm's good for my operation. Him being outside and his faith in the programming is gonna get more people to join. They love that genuinity, genuinity crap. You're right about one thing, though. He could be of better use at the gym. Maybe I'll let him stay there. Find more people to join us. Yeah, that's an awesome idea. Thanks, Maya. Me and a whole lot of people owe you one. Oh, 
Oh dear. Look, we're running out of time here, so we gotta wrap this up fast. Arya looks like a nice enough girl, but my gut tells me she's got a lot more insecurities than she's letting on. From experience, someone like that is going to do whatever they can for validation, even if they have to fake it. I think you should push her buttons on this. See if she's really as genuinely confident as she seems. Here's what I got on Rex. He blows a lot of hot air about being an entrepreneur, but the only business he's ever registered is his motivational company, where he's the only employee. I dug up some posts online saying he's running some sort of scam. Find out more about this. I don't see anything strange again. I don't know. What are you talking about? Your vision of Maya. I forgot to ask you. What did you see? Sorry, why we got a foe of our friends turning around to greet me. I opened the case while she was looking at me. I saw I saw three of those. Must be an empathetic electroplasm imprint. A strong emotion etched into the material of the phone itself. Transferred to the user through touch. What kind of... So, Maya's trying to communicate? No way of knowing for sure, but that's my working theory. Anyway, these visions are mostly harmless. Thanks for the report. Mostly? Oh, dear. Well... We never found out what happened to the, those who went missing or died after experiencing these things. But don't worry, you're under my watch. I won't let anything happen to you. Maybe once you solve this, we'll figure out your strange experience too. Oh, wait. ATTN Edivance Room. Edivance 3911-B. IM6 is not accounted for. All handling officers to the Chief's office for an immediate debriefing. Requires Erica's full name. Uh, try to count it the old Okay, yeah, what was the extension? What was the extension? Get me out of here. There. Uh, mail. Eight seven one four. as our muse, please press 1. If you want to apply as one of our muses, please press 2. Otherwise, press 0 to return to our main menu. Oh, good one. Want to be our muse? Are you? 
you enough to be a part of us? Hunt us down at our pop-up stores and get your applications filled. If you have already applied and want to get in touch with your talent liaison, please dial the four-digit extension number after the beep. Thank you. Your liaison is... Rachel. However, your call cannot be connected as she's not at her desk at this moment. She is informed of your call and will get back to you as soon as possible. Have a nice day. Okay. Oh, here we go. Hey, yo. This is Rachel. Hey, from Lauren. Be true, be you, be alluring. Who is this? I am an officer investigating one of your influencers. What? Oh my gosh! Investigation! Hey, uh, uh, I waste my time. Mm, look at him out there, staring at me like some the weirdo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, just do your job. This is, uh, what the... Huh? Oh, hi. The frick was that? Just hold up for a minute here. I got a big campaign planned out, and I can't have any of my muses leaking any controversial stuff. Can we just sell things privately over here? Let's talk about this quietly then. Oh no, I shouldn't. Good. Good. I'm sure that we can keep this on the do down low for now. If this goes public, just give us same leeway to cover our own butts first. Who do you want to know about? Ira Park is an Ira Park is involved in some way. What do you know about Ira Park? Okay, give me a sec. That name sounds familiar. She's not one of ours. She applied but didn't get through. And why'd she announce on him? Kimara. Excuse me. She's faking it. Sometimes our rejects do this. But as long as they don't get us into trouble, we're pretty okay with it. I mean, no big deal, right? Can we just quietly resolve this and not make it public? Alright, I'm sure I can find some advertising law that you violated. My problem that she used your brain for this. I probably shouldn't have said this, but... Can you just stop right there? Okay, why don't I make this easier for all of us? PR was... Going to release this anyway, so here it is. I'll get in a second. I'm gonna read this. Bad week so far. It's only Wednesday. Don't let the midweek blues get you running and rank. Realign yourself to make this week work for you. Sign up for our week, not midweek yoga class led by Chloe and learn how to convert that negative energy into positive action today. Can definitely 100% recommend this. The instruction is great. I always look forward to it. You're my best student. Yoga is life, period. Oh. oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is she breathing? Don't. You know, check on pulse. Just. just. <laughs> to call the cops. Tell them what happened. Maya was torn up by some e e evil monster thing. What, what demon? I, I don't know. Mrs. Hysteria. This is like uh, uh, 
ghastly. It's a ghastly sketch. Rex, ghastly. Just, just, just stop, okay? It's bad enough as it is. Just shut up, Rex. Shut up. You <laughs> know. Okay, we we can't just stay here and 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 not do anything, okay? We have to just figure. We can just figure this out and just keep calm and. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We 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 gotta run. We have to run. We have to we have to get one more ticket. We have to get out of here. What? No. What's wrong with you? We have to figure this out. Okay. Okay. Somehow we have to figure this out. Why are we telling the truth? Oh my god. Oh my god. Calm down. Work this out together. Calm down. He was right. He was right. It's not gonna stop. And that means. That means that one of us, one of us, made the deal. Oh dear! What the frick? Let's see what else it says. Check out right of ours, really. I don't know what I'm calling it. Ah. Chat. Rachel. Oh dear. Press release for pending release. Statement on official muses. Esther Wood, October 2019. A Lauren's influencer partners known as Muses are voice, our ambassadors, and a proud representation of our brand. These Muses are carefully selected to fully embody our ethos. While we are proud to see fans em emulate the style of our prestigious Muses, a few have taken it too far by calling themselves our partners or collaborators without our permission. These intimidators undermine the integrity of our brand and real muses. The frick. Stay true to yourself. Arya Park, fake muse. Arya Park is one of these unofficial muses. She claims to be our ambassador, but she is not affiliated with us in any manner. One of the ways to identify a fake muse from a real one is to look out for official tags. Real Muse are required to tag at a warrant at all their posts, while the fake ones tend to avoid it. If you spot any other fake Muses, please contact any of our official channels. Be true, be you, be you. Yep. Yep. It's publicly shamed by Lauren for faking her brand sponsorship. I see now that Ari is being extremely selfish. Because of her recklessness, she's dragging our brand down, and we cannot have that. I am going to push this out right now. This conclusively disproves Ari's relationship with us, so you don't have the right to drag us into this. Here. Rachel is highly critical of Ari's actions and wants to teach her a lesson. This will suffice. Wonderful. You can't hear me, but I'm dusting off my hands right now. If you have any more issues, take it to our legal de department, okay? Jabber, what is it this time? Oh, dear. We've heard your feedback, and we're now d denouncing all of our phony muses, starting with Ira. Yep. This can't be true. I would never sink that low. Paging. Wait, really? This is too good. Finally, justice is delivered. Uh, I have to ask you about this. What the heck is this? 
Mm. You what about being their ambassador? Gosh dang it. Fine. I admit it. I faked my brand sponsorship. Oh no. I wouldn't published it. I am so screwed. What do you have against me? You're just as bad as those so-called fans who just followed me to troll and put me down. Are you? What? What else are you lying about? I'm not lying now. I need that Lauren deal to boost my ratings, okay? You had to show that you were successful to get jobs. And perception trumps realness every time. Plus, Lauren's a big company. I didn't think they'd bother checking someone like me. Oh man, do you want an option for you? Things are gonna get worse for you. What the heck? That two-faced... Listen, I was desperate and I made a stupid mistake. Sometimes I feel pressure to act like my life is more exciting than it, than it is, okay? But I can and intend to fix myself on my own terms. I never need the ripple man's deal. Alright, wait. You've taken the easy way out before. You are a fighter when things get hard. I find that very hard to believe. Then tell me who did. You are a fire when things... I don't appreciate you digging into my personal life. If it helps to make my case, go right ahead. Will you believe me now? I didn't take the deal with... I didn't take the Ripple Man's deal. I didn't kill Maya. I'd never want anything bad to happen to her. Maya cares for you too. It wasn't supposed to be this way. How do we get to this? Maya was freaking out. She was trying to warn us. Say she knew something was up. And you give her, give her voice a second chance. We were all there. Me, Mina, and Rex. I was so caught up by how silly it all sounded. I was worrying about jobs instead of just hearing her out. I'm such a mess right now. Then show me you were a fighter. I won't be nice to her. What would you know anyway? Everyone expects me to fail. I worked so hard to prove them wrong. This series was my leg up. Think about my. Not to prove anything. Think about Maya. Oh, please. A guilt trip? If she didn't size up for this thing, we wouldn't be in this mess. But she's gone now. I can handle this myself. I can't make defeat. I can help you? How? Are you a Ghostbuster or something? You're going to give me a job? I can't afford to throw away everything I've built. No way I'm relieving the mockery of being at bottom of the barrel. Always rebuilt. You can always rebuild. I have been building and rebuilding ever since I was born. So please don't lecture me. What about Rex and Mina? They know stuff too. Why am I focused? Why am I to focus here? I can't rely on them. I need your strength for this. Huh. I am so tired of people leaning on me all the time. If I give it my all to help you, can you guarantee that Rex and would, would do the same? Give them a chance to prove. I can handle them, don't worry. Probably well, shouldn't be the one saying this, but I'll try. You don't know them like I do. You can't trust them. I know how you can solve this. So there might be a way. Maya was telling us something important about the Ripple Man. I wasn't really paying attention. And then, well, you know what happened to her.
What was she trying to tell you? It's all a little bl blurry, but I remember bits and pieces. She kept going on and on about some sort of totem or a ritual, a dispelling ritual, a tome to summon the monster and dispel it. That's why she wanted the gym, win my gym card. Nice. Need to get home from it. Ara says Maya had a plan to stop the Ripple Man. It involves retrieving a totem from Maya's gym locker. What? What kind of totem? No idea. Maya and I go to the same gym. She said that she left the totem in her locker there, but she, she misplaced her access card. She needed mine to get into the gym. We need to get it then. I guess so, but I still have a nagging feeling about this deal, and we still need the others to figure out the rest of the ritual. And what if I get caught up breaking into her locker? It'll be so humiliating. Uh, I'll help you however I can. Maybe there is something you can do. So, okay. I can get into the gym, but we had different schedules. I had no idea which locker is hers. And if that's padlock, I'll need the combination to make this quick. Now you can find this info on her phone somewhere. I'll look for it. Great. That's what I like to hear. Look, I don't trust people easily, let alone someone I've never even met. But I got a good feeling about this. It's going to take me a while to get to the gym, so get back to me with the info. Oh my gosh. Oh, not this again. Feel helpless against the decisions of others? Uh... Wouldn't you rather control others than they control you? What? Do you like being used? Gravel as we consider your divinity. Oh gosh, there we go again. If a stranger asks you for a favor, how would you react? I, don't, I can't... Okay, I don't. You go about your routine and you meet someone you like, what would you do? I don't know what... Can you give me a description? Your superior calls you in for a private talk. What do you think it's about? I don't know what the stuff means. I'm clicking on something random. How do you decide on the lesser of two evils? How does it feel when everyone leans on you for guidance? What the frick is this? To be honest, this is very freaking freaky. Um, I guess I'll do that one. The flip. Oh dear! You relish you relish your possession uh, position as the star among people around you, playing it out your own perceived way. Roll as much as possible in ever increasing grandeur. You move people with your longer than larger than life persona and sweep others away. With your performance and influence, 
Embrace our influence and grow your prestige. This deal requires a sacrifice. Hold on, what is this? Requires, I guess, phone name. I don't have that yet. Yeah, but I don't, I don't think I can do any of those. Yeah, but I don't think I can do any of those. Hey! Hello! I'm here! You there? I'm here. I've been wandering around here for 10 minutes. People are starting to look at me funny. I'm in the locker room now. Got the number? Oh. Attention G31-29. All officers who handled case file G31-29, please report to the detective's office. Thank you. What time? Demarcus Jim Walker and retrieve the totem. I need the minus Walker number and combination. Yeah, that's why I'm looking for announcement about Jim security somewhere in my messages. Oh no. One of the employees at Maya's gym set up Maya's locker combination from her with the combination being her gym class trainer starting from Monday till Sunday. Okay, this is confusing. Information there was an announcement about gym security somewhere in my messages. I don't know that I don't know the code. I don't know how the frick I'm supposed to find it. Let me do this one for now. There is a chat history that can be restored with the clue from Minas Kamar post chat history. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Florence Bell was the first person to introduce TRM to my as a means to boost their cream performance. Oh no. That's a long thing. Let me go and read it real quick. Florence Bell. Maya? Florence? I was wondering if you'd forgotten about me. Oh, thank gosh I got it right. That's the last time I'll write someone's number down on a napkin. No biggie. It happens. Those Kimaracon networking nights are more partying than networking, to be honest. So true. Anyways, thanks again for those yoga retreat vouchers. So what do you want to know? Right. So I've been following you from the start, and I have to ask. How do you go from 20,000 followers for over a year to more than 100,000 followers in two weeks? Your like to dislike ratio completely transformed too. I have to know your secret. Really? That's it? I'm surprised you don't know about it already. About what? You never saw the ads on Kamara? Uh... There are tons of ads on Kamara. No idea what you're talking about. Sorry, I'm dumb. But you need to follow that account first. Have you heard of... TRM? TRM? Stands for Tailored Reputation Management. An ad... An, an, an ad pops up on Kamara talking about boasting influencer metrics. Yada yada yada. And I just kind of tried it out. You mean like... Buying likes? Gosh, no. I would never sing that low. It's very strange. I got curious, so I tapped on the ad, followed some instructions, and next thing you know, I'm signed up. Then, boom, I crossed 100,000 milestone. That can't be real. I'm planning to do this engagement pod thing with some new and old friends, but it's so much work, and I just worry the impact might not be there. Between you and me... After my little meltdown incident, I almost gave up on being an influencer. TRM turned it around for me completely. I don't know. You want to know my secret, right? This is literally it. It's low risk too, so I want you to just try it out. If you say so. I'll check out this TRM. Yep, you're in the pod, right? Get your friends to do it as well. Apparently it does work better if it's in a group. Emily Wong tried that, and she's really getting results. That's Emily. That's Emily of Zillion, by the way. You can let me know how it turns out, as well. Okay, I will give it a shot. Thanks. Now or even. Okay, August eighteenth. Oh my gosh, Florence! I tried it out. It's so weird. It totally works. Florence. You there? September 26th. Florence! Something's wrong! So we all got a huge follower boost and the numbers are going up. But the dislike ratio is getting worse. And now there's some kind of deal. I'm not sure what, to what they're talking about. Maya! Worked out! Huh. Well, I'll see. Not quite. I just want to ask, did you take the deal we offered you? The deal is quite remarkable, no? It allows you to control your fate. I took it. It worked out completely. Just embraced everything it offers you. Right. Uh, thanks for your help. Oh dear. Let's do this real quick. That war nap is really something. I'm dang glad the department spent money on this at least. How is it working out for you? No problems storing files? Software is amazing. Really is, isn't it? Imagine unveiling a potential suspect alive just through their phones. Moment by moment. Every single thing exposed. Nothing stays hidden. What a wonderful time to be in law enforcement. Everyone has the right. Whatever it takes to get the bad guys. Yeah, I guess so. Glad we're on the same page. 
Maybe. Just maybe you're the one to take over this crusade once I'm gone. Uh, enough chit chat. We have to get back to work. Oh my gosh, so much stuff pending. Who wasn't most likely to have that complete the romance deal? The clue from me is come on. Oh, requires Erika's full name. Oh my gosh. I need some security advice to Maya. I don't know what I'm missing. Needs Maya's locker number and combination. Locker number and combination. It's best to know more about I uh, before working for an hour about it. Announcement. What am I, wait. I was an interaction with Maya and the public through Kamara and Jabber might give some insight to her motive. Interaction. I was with Maya and... Oh, no. I have no clue. Guys, I will be right back.